Chancellor. It's now my honour to present Rick Mayo for the degree of Doctor of Letters in Royal Standard. He is very naughty. <laughs> he told me he used to watch me when I used to do play school. <laughs> Through the round window. Do you remember it, parents? But he's going to be a good boy today. <laughs> I now like to invite Dr. Rick Mail to address the congregation. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, if I may, 28 years ago, that man, Paul Jackson, stand up Paul, show them yourself, that's the man, 28 years ago, that man, Paul Jackson, walked into a fledgling nightclub in London called the Comedy Store and asked me if I'd like to be on television. Now that was a very big deal in those days. There were only three channels, so if you went on telly, you'd be famous for life overnight. So I said, yes. <laughs> yes, please. Yes, I would like to be on television. So I went along to the BBC, and there, in the makeup department, I saw the most beautiful woman on the planet. She quickly became my friend, and then my best friend and then my mistress, <laughs> and then pregnant, <laughs> and then my wife, <laughs> and then the mother of my three children. So, Paul, I want to take this rare opportunity to thank you, formally and publicly, for my life. Right, now to business. Rick Mayle's doctorate. Well, ladies and gentlemen, what can I say? This is extraordinary. This is such an honor, such a joy, such a treat, such a terrible mistake. <laughs> now, I have done most things in my long and disgusting life. And I thought I'd done pretty much everything available to me. But I never in my wildest dreams imagined anything like this could ever happen to me. I am not a clever person. I'm not a clever person. And I've got away with it for a very long time. But now you lot have all caught me. Here I am with all you brainy people. And I'm the man without a brain cell to mention. Yes, I passed my 11 plus exam in 1967 my 11 plus exam in 1967, but everything went downhill from there. I failed seven O-levels. <laughs> I failed seven O-levels. Yes, I failed my maths O-level three times. <laughs> no, wait, wait. I went on from there, I went on from there to get two Fs and a U for my A-levels. F means fail, you guys wouldn't know. The U was for offensive drivel. <laughs> no, it's true. But then, then, Manchester University let me in. Yeah, Manchester University let me in on an interview. I mean, they're not up to your standards, obviously. They'll take anything up there. <laughs> but me, I mean... Now, <clears throat> I didn't exactly fail my drama degree from Manchester. 
I just failed to turn up for the exams. It's not that I was too stupid. I was just too drunk. And I was too in bed with girls from the English department. So here I am now. Rick Mayle, 111 plus, three O levels, and a doctorate. I mean... Yeah, wait. Dr. Rick Mayle. Unbelievable. I mean, thank you all so much for your imagination and charity. <laughs> Unbelievable. But, but, the celebrations for today aren't for me. They're for you lot. You are the guys who did all the work. And now, my young friends, is the time to start enjoying your life. Forget about academia. You've done your work. Start celebrating your success. Start reaping your rewards. Start living your lives to the full in the real nasty, sexy world out there. Come on, it's time to enjoy yourselves. Wait. Wait. In return, in return for Exeter's astonishing generosity in making me a doctor, let me give you youngsters a present. Five mantras. Five... No, seriously. Five mantras to carry with you through your lives. These are mine. These are what have helped me, not only to survive, but to be happy. Yeah? Now remember these. Remember these. All men are equal. Therefore, what are you laughing at? <laughs> all men, number one, all men are equal. Therefore, no one can ever be your genuine superior. Number two, it is your future. It is yours to create. Your future is as bright as you make it. Number three, change is a constant of life. So you must never, ever lose your wisdom. Your wisdom that you nurtured and enriched here at Exeter University. Number four, if you want to live a full and complete human life, you have to be free. Freedom is paramount. And number five, love is the answer. Love is the answer. So my friends, there's my present to you. You just make sure that you've always got those five things. Equality, opportunity, wisdom, freedom, and love. Yeah? Equality, opportunity, wisdom, freedom, and love. And you'll be all right. You'll be all right. With that and a bit of good luck. <laughs> so good luck. Congratulations and good luck, my young friends. You go out there and have yourselves a fucking good life. <laughs> bon voyage, my young friends. Bon voyage. Thank you, Doctor. <laughs> I do apologize for the F word. He meant fun. <laughs>